Rich here, I'm outside JJ Customs, so let's go inside, check out what new cars we've got in. Down there the other day, we're Jason from JJ Customs. Two cars that uh, did catch our eye, two new arrivals, are both from DHK Hobby. First of all, I'm going to take a look at the DHK Hobby Hunter BL, and then we're going to take a look at the DHK Hobby Cage R. $289.99, which when you hear this back, you will see it's an absolute bargain. Brush caged R at just 179 for two wheel drive. Well, the first DHK Hobby car we're looking at today is going to be the Hunter BL 3950 kV motor. Only weighs about five and a half pounds, cracking price at $289, and it features metal CVD drive shafts all round. I want to get it down off the shelf. There really is a lot to like about this car, certainly compared to things like a uh, Traxxas slash VXL and the Losi cars. Yeah, Hunter. No. So let's have a closer look at the uh, Hunter BL from DHK oh. Hobby. Cracking short course truck on paper, certainly. One thing I should also say is it's also got metal CVD drive shafts on here. But uh, oh. very, very price competitive with anything from uh, Losi or uh, a slash VXL as an example and if you've got one of these love to hear from you as I say it is better now outside of the US uh, than it is within the US but let's take the lid off and have a look inside and see whoa wasn't expecting that much metal inside the thing well a decent sized impact bumper at the back there that will take a fair old knock and you will note we've got aluminum shock towers on there, big bore shocks all round and this car also features steel CBD drive shafts. Uh, anyway whatever I was expecting, wasn't expecting to see that much metal in the car. Let's start the front and work our way backwards. Oh that bumper's got a good bit of flex in there, it's going to take a decent sized impact which I to think this thing's probably going to be into the 45-50 mile an hour bracket. And we've also got adjustable suspension at the front as well as the rear so it's already looking good at this price point. Aluminum shock tower which is always a good sign. Taking a closer look at the shocks they are adjustable but with preloaded spaces they're not threaded but uh, not bad for this price point nonetheless. Note that horizontal metal brace inside of the chassis, that bodes well for this car. We've got waterproof receiver box on the left, indeed the car's got waterproof electrics all round. Steering servo on the right hand side there. Now the motor, look how far forwards that is mounted. That is going to help keep the nose of this car down and limit its uh, chances of wheeling. The car's fitted with a 50 amp ESC and a Dean's connector to power it. The DHK Hunter BL features a 3,900 kV brushless motor and it's powered by a 3S pack that sits along there on the right hand side. And at the rear we've also got our aluminum brace running down the centre. My only comment might be those A-arms, the upper ones, look a little bit on the light side. That'd be only my comment there. But that's the thing that goes for and against it as it helps keep the weight down on this car which weighs just five and a half pounds. Checking out the tyre tread, that should be good on loose gravel and black top in particular. Side impact bumper rails on there as well for protecting it. I'm not sure if people race these, uh, on off switch on the top there. Anyway, let's have a look on the other side. Now we've got all plastic chassis at this price point. Now on those A-arms, taking a closer look there, with that cross bracing, they should be quite strong, but uh, they're also pared down to keep the weight down on the car. And that's, uh, I'm able to hold this fairly easily in one hand. Plastic chassis, moving on down there. Same type of A-arms at the back. And it looks like the A-arms are the same at the back as they are the front, even just reversed round. But we'd need to check that out. Anyway, let's do a quick suspension test and see. Okay, lift the front wheel to the rear. Just comes clear. Mm, probably about two and a half, maybe three inches clearance on there. Oh, it's quite nicely damped actually. I think that's quite heavily damped. So. Check the rear out. Lift the front rear until that front wheel just begins to lift. Ooh, good three inches of travel out at the rear, which is unusual. These cars generally have less travel at the rear than they do at the front on this suspension test. Again, I'm expecting that to be quite nicely damped. Well, the suspension did just bottom out there, but overall the car feels very well damped indeed. 
Well, I hope you like that look at the DHK Hobby Hunter BL car. It has a lot of promise to it for sure. With its low weight and brushless power plant, I should think this thing is going to prove an absolute little firecracker, particularly around a racetrack. Well, there is a lot to like about this car. I feel it's cracking value for the money on air at just 289. But now it's time to move on to the Cage R two-wheel drive car, which is uh, yours for 179. So let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at the cage art and see just what we get for our money with this. This is, I will say, quite an eye-catching little truck. It does scream out as one to buy, to modify, because I'm quite, I do think it's got quite a nice look to it, actually. That sort of sand rail, sand buggy type look to it. Anyway, let me know what you think. Let's go down the stand and have a look around it. Yours for 179 bucks down at JJ Customs. It is, however, two-wheel drive, but very lightweight. Well, please excuse the body film on the KJR. This is a brand new car that uh, you can come down here to JJ Customs and look at in person. Uh, take it down off the shelf just as I'm doing. But what do we think of that sand rail look to the car, guys? I am quite liking the look of this. I've seen cars a lot more expensive look a lot worse than this. I quite like that sand rail look. Tire tread looks pretty good, but I think it's about time we took that body off and had a look inside and see what we get for our money. Okay, let's have a look under the skin, see what we got. Ah, comes for that price point with the battery included. Nickel metal hydride pack, but uh, with Dean's connector on there, so I'm assuming this will take a 2S LiPo. Anyway, let's start the front, we'll go right back. Tire tread. Well, the rear tyres feel pretty grippy indeed, and while I'm looking at those, I happen to notice this car is also fitted with metal steel CVD drive shafts. Very impressive. Well, starting at the front, we've got plastic shocks. They are adjustable, uh, but with preloaded spacers as opposed to being threaded. But we do know that front suspension is adjustable. However, the rear of the car uh, suspension is not adjustable. Well, moving on back, we've got the battery compartment for that included a nickel metal hydride battery on the left, a servo on the right. We also appear to have a waterproof receiver box there on the right hand side, brushed motor on the right, leading over to the ESC on the left. And we've got a decent little impact bumper at the rear there, and pretty good one at the front with quite a bit of flex in both of them. And the car is pretty lightweight indeed. Anyway, let's have a look down the underside of the chassis. Again, lightweight but strong A-arms on there. The whole thing is made out of plastic in terms of the chassis. However, it's not bad at all. And there's that same high power to weight ratio, I should think, that the Hunter BL had. Anyway, time for a quick suspension test. Let's raise that front up until the rear comes. Oh, we've probably got about two and a half inches of travel on there. It's quite well sprung as opposed to well damped, but a little bit of change in shock oil should sort that situation out. Right, moving on to the back, lift that rear wheel until the front just comes clear. You probably about an inch and a half, maybe two inches of that push on that rear suspension travel. And again, yeah, it's quite well sprung as opposed to well damped. Well, if you like the look of either the DHK Hobby Cage R or the DHK Hobby Hunter BL Brushless SCT, then get yourselves on down to JJ Customs, as every single car they sell is just like these two, out of the box for you to come down and have a look at before making your purchasing decision. Well, if you like either of these DHK Hobby cars, then don't hesitate to get yourselves on down to JJ Customs in San Jose, email them or give them a call. Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell. Just remember, guys, if you like what you see today, don't forget to subscribe.